Hello Aries Taurus, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, views, comments. So at 5,000 subscribers I'm going to give away a deck of cards. It has to be a deck that I use. They're all listed in the link below. And when I get about 45, 47 subscribers I'll start having directions on how to enter that drawing. So if you're interested, like and subscribe and you like the way I read. Um, then keep that in mind. So a little more subscribers than I will be doing that. So the first one we're going to start off with, the oracle cards will all be for you over here. The tarot cards are the people around you. But you decide who they apply to. You could show up over there as well. So you have to decide who the cards apply to because this is a general reading for a lot of people, not a personal reading for you per se. So just keep that in mind. So try to use your intuition or who you feel that it connects to. And vice versa, the king and queen on the cards. So the first one of the dragon wisdom is water chalice. Wow, this is really powerful. So this talks about emotions. This has to do, your emotions are really, really strong right now, Aries Taurus. Definitely. So let me see. It says water chalice. It talks about... Um, Let me see. Yeah, it just talks about diving in and dealing with some emotions. Dealing with some emotions that you haven't dealt with and believe in yourself. Believe in your higher power. It could have to do with um, your religion, your higher power beliefs in some way right now. It could be being tested or resolved by a lot of other people and you're feeling emotional about that. You don't understand why people don't support you more is what I'm feeling. So the next one is love. Look at that. That is so beautiful. So this obviously the pink talks about how you're vibrating at a very high frequency um, and you're very high emotional um, and vibrating at love so you have ascended to a very high frequency I feel so if you have there's going to be a lot of people that you're not going to even be able to connect with because there's so many lower energies that don't even connect with you so I don't know if some of you are coming across that in your life where you just feel like where is love where am I going to find love why do I feel like I don't connect with anyone at all so this is nine of wands so this is to me like a warrior stance, a warrior mode, where you're like, yeah, look at me, I have to put up the walls and be who I am because everybody is so weird to you. So then you have Ace of Wands. So Ace of Wands is attraction, physical beauty, um, physical handsomeness. So a lot of people see you as very, <clears throat> very attractive. So Six of Swords talks about you or somebody moving away from somebody because it was hostile. There was like harsh words said. I do not know why my throat's acting up. So there's somebody moving away from a situation that wasn't pleasant. Six of Wands. So I feel like it's somebody else because you have a success and victory over this. Whatever was negative around you, you um, were protected by the divine. And then Princess of Wands. So Princess of Wands is somebody who's very protected as well. Somebody who has many new beginnings. Um, this person vibrates very high with their heart chakra as well. The Hero Font. Wow. So this is very high spirituality. It could also indicate legalities, court system, lawyers, um, divorce, marriage. But to me it's more spirituality like two people who connect through dreams or telepathy. And then Ace of Coins, success over coins, stability, Five of Cups. So again, somebody watching you who's not in your life anymore, this person's very emotional, they miss you. And then Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is somebody who's very bitter. This person could be very obnoxious with their words and hurtful and just kind of like, oh, I, a name just came up but I don't even want to say it. So somebody who... Um, yeah, it's just not nice. They've been hurt once too many times, or they think they can address people however they want to because they're who they are. And then you have Seven of Swords sneakiness. So yeah, you got a Queen of Swords around you who I feel like her or somebody around her is being sneaky. The Fool. 
So you're getting ready to take a leap of faith. You're going to do something you've never done before. It could be move. It could be a job. The magician. So the magician talks to me about you manifesting. You have manifested what you want to come towards you, what you want your future to be like. Um, this In the next cards, I see them showing me um, clarity coming to you, but a definite betrayal. Somebody hurt you, maybe in a work situation, is what I feel, so be aware of that. And so now I'm switching to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. So the first one, ooh, is third party situation. So somebody got you involved, I feel, in a third party situation, which is bringing someone else into a relationship or putting something before you. It could have been that pet, it could have been a former child, could have been a friend, a family member. But you didn't come first. So then we have fire kitten. So fire kitten is somebody who takes chances and they want to hurt you, I guess, because you don't take chances, and they do, so they want to hurt you, um, which is really creepy weird. Hurt you like, hurt your feelings. So Six of Sky talks about you going in a new direction, taking a leap of faith, and you're going to be brave and leave some friends, maybe, that was really hard for you to leave, um, but you're done with that. I feel like you got a lot of friends around you that are just a mess. So seeking is somebody watching you who loves you, but they don't communicate with you. This person lives far away. And then you have Ten of Sky. So a lot of these people feel stuck in third-party situations, or somebody does. So I guess because they do, they think you should too. And then Clarity, the Hermit. So you have clarity over who this is, who's trying to hurt you, who hurts themselves. So if they hurt themselves and mess up their own life, why in the heck would they not do the same to you? If they don't love themselves, they're not going to love you more. So keep that in mind. Somebody who messes up their own life and tells you they love you, if they can't keep it together for themselves, you're not going to you're going to have to keep it together for them. So then you have the cat. So the cat magic to me is the magician. You have the magician here and you have the magician here. So you have the fool magician, clarity magician. So I do feel like you are getting clarity um, answers about something, you have intuition, strong, and then see Tom. So I do feel like there is, again, the player energy around you, somebody who thinks they can charm you and trick you, and then nine of skies. So this person is really stuck in their head, they can't sleep. The person who, yeah, feels stuck, and then six of fire. So six of fire is clarity, whoever this person is being sneaky, because this card to me says it's somebody who you work with, who other people cater to. So they let people fluff them up. They let people tell them how great they are because they're, some people like to be the boss's pet, so to speak. So they just kiss the boss's um, everything. They want to do everything to, I don't know why that is in the workplace. Even if they don't get more pay, they still want to be like best buddies with the boss. So this person has a lot of people that do that, but you didn't. So that was an issue for them. So then you have Sky Queen. So Sky Queen is somebody watching you who feels like they're better than you as well. I feel like they're far away. They Yeah. And then you have Two of Sky. So Two of Sky is somebody making a decision that is best for them. I feel like somebody's realizing they accepted something beneath them for far too long and they're moving on. They have healed and they're not going to accept what they accepted before. It is just change and been upgraded. What somebody will accept and you. So time out 22 is a master number. The universe is supporting you. They're like holding you in their arms. Um, giving you a rest period I feel. And then talk and smack 26. So this is going towards your happiness and people not liking that or towards love. People want to block you or stop you from your future, where you're going, what you're doing. So nurture 29. So this would be 11, which is a master number. You have 22, and if you add this, it would be 11, which is half of 22. Nurture talks about healing. Somebody in heaven, I feel, pets, music, um, a lot of tears. You did a lot of talking, like I said, to somebody who's passed. And you have healed yourself. You've moved into a beautiful place with these two here. It was very painful, but you did it. So then you have 30, Practical Intuition. 
practical intuition tells me that there was something going in circles and now you're a new beginning, you're ready to see things differently, you're ready to go a new path, and you're paying attention to the messages that are being given to you. You are aware of things meant for you. You're aware that your light shines bright, and you're aware of if anyone tries to dim your light or talk smack to you, you're not having these people in your life. So you're very emotional, but you are more in tune, you've nurtured yourself enough, um, that you are aware of who is not worthy of your light and who is. And if you're not there yet, you're very, very close. So here's the earth, I mean, whispers of the ocean, and you have nine, amble with contentment. This is a seahorse. A seahorse uh, mates for life, for those of you who don't know that, so I don't know if that means anything to some of you, if there's somebody you've been with for a long time. This talks about going with the current. When the current gets really rough, the seahorse wrap their tail around the coral or a plant or something and wait till the current's not so rough. So I do feel like this is telling you to be confident and be content that when the current gets rough, just, just go with the flow. Try not to fight the energy. Try not to fight the change going on around you or the different energies because there's either something you're supposed to learn, somebody else is supposed to learn, or something is changing and shifting. So just kind of more allow things to go as they are and try and stop trying to control what you can't control from the universe. So the next one is 33, let your personality shine. You have something that no one else has that makes you who you are. Stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uniqueness to shine through. This is the jellyfish, but 33. So you had a lot of double numbers here, you guys. So you have 30, you have three twi three, three times, and then here you have 29, 9, but you have 22, 11, and 33. So you, I always say to go, write down the numbers, and you can self-teach yourself um, the spiritual meaning of numbers. So you have a lot of important numbers in there to me. And I didn't say that at the beginning of your reading, but I usually do say that. So I hope this helps you. Thank you so much. Bless you.